In this video, we will discuss top technical interview questions which are commonly asked to the computer engineers in their on-campus or off-campus interview. So let's get started. The very first question, what do you understand by machine learning? The answer is, machine learning is the form of artificial intelligence that deals with system programming and automates data analysis to enable computer to learn and act through experiences without being explicitly programmed. So here you can see the machine learning is the domain of artificial intelligence whereas the deep learning is a domain of your machine learning. Next question, differentiate between inductive learning and deductive learning. So these are two types of learnings that is inductive and deductive. So in inductive learning, the model learns by example from a set of observed instances to draw a generalized conclusion. Whereas in deductive learning, the model first applies the conclusion and then the conclusion is drawn. So this can be understood with this image. Suppose we want to teach the kids about the fire. So in inductive learning, we will show them uh, the picture of fires and the people who have suffered from the fire. And then the kid will learn that yes, the fire is dangerous. We, we should not play with the fire. Whereas in deductive learning, what happens? We will, uh, we will let them play with the fire and then the student will get affected. Student, there will be an accident and then, the, then that kid will learn about the fire. That is known as deductive learning. So this is the difference in between inductive and deductive learning. Next, what is the difference between data mining and machine learning? So the answer is, Data mining can be described as the process in which the structured data tries to abstract the knowledge or instruct or interesting unknown pattern. During this process, machine learning algorithms are used. Now machine learning, machine learning represents the study, design and development of algorithms which provide the ability to the processor to learn without being explicitly programmed. So, the artificial intelligence, machine learning, data mining, that is nothing but uh, the domain of your data science and they are inter interrelated. Next question, what is the meaning of overfitting in machine learning? So the answer is, overfitting can be seen in machine learning when a statistical model describes random error or noise instead of underlying relationship. Overfitting is usually observed when the model is excessively complex. It happens because of having too many parameters concerning the number of training data types. The model displays poor performance which has been overfitted. So here you can see uh, three types of fitting that is underfitting, good fitting and overfitting. Next question, why overfitting occur? The answer is the possibility of overfitting occurs when the criteria used for training the model is not as per the criteria used to judge the efficiency of model. Next question, what is the method to avoid overfitting? The answer is, overfitting occurs when we have a small data set and the model is trying to learn from it. By using a large amount of data, overfitting can be avoided. But if we have a small data set, and forced to build a model based on that, then we can use a technique known as cross-validation and through cross-validation, we can avoid overfitting. Next question, differentiate between supervised and unsupervised machine learning. This is very common question. The answer is, in supervised machine learning, the machine is trained using label data. Then, a new data set is given into the learning model so that the algorithm provides a positive outcome by analyzing the label data. So here you can see, this is your algorithm and now uh, it is provided with the label data that we are providing hexagon, square, triangle, okay, and the model will learn through it and then it, it can differentiate the various shape. So basically, in, in case of supervised learning, we are providing the system the label data. Now unsupervised learning. In unsupervised machine learning, the machine is not trained using label data and let the algorithm make the decision without any corresponding output variable. So here you can see, 
uh, this is the input data that is given in in form of picture so there are pictures of apple and the watermelon and that data is not the label data whereas the system is giving output it has differentiated apple and the watermelon so this is known as unsupervised machine learning next question how does machine learning differ from deep learning so the answer is machine learning is all about algorithms which are used to uh, data learn from the data and then apply whatever they have learned to make informed decision now deep learning deep learning is a part of machine learning which is inspired by the structure of human brain and is particularly useful in feature detection next question how is knn different from k means so these are two different algorithms in machine learning now knn knn or k nearest neighbor is a supervised algorithm which is used for classification purpose in knn a test sample is given as the class of majority of its nearest neighbor on the other hand k means is an unsupervised algorithm which is mainly used for clustering in k means clustering it needs a set of unlabeled points and a threshold only the algorithm further takes unlabeled data and learn how to cluster it into group by computing the mean of the distances between the different unlabeled points next question what are the different types of algorithm methods in machine learning the answer is supervised learning semi supervised learning unsupervised learning transduction reinforced learning next question what do you understand by reinforced learning technique the answer is reinforced learning is an algorithm technique used in machine learning it involves an agent that interacts with the with its environment by producing action and discovering error or reward reinforced learning is employed by different software and machines to search for the best suitable behavior or the path it should follow in a specific situation it usually learn on the basis of reward or penalty given for every action it performs next question what is the trade off between bias and variance so these are two different important terms in machine learning that is bias and variance so both the bias and bias and variance they are errors bias is an error due to erroneous or overly simplistic assumption in the learning algorithm it can lead to the model underfitting the data making it hard to have high predictive accuracy and generalize the knowledge from the training set to the test set variance is an error due to too much complexity in the learning algorithm it leads to the algorithm being sensitive to high degree of variation in the training data which can lead the model to overfit the data next question how to classification and regression differ that means what is the difference between classification and regression so here you can see on left hand side classification right hand side regression so the first difference classification is the task to predict a discrete class label regression regression is the task to predict a continuous quantity in classification problem data is labeled into two into one or two or more classes in regression problem <coughs> a regression problem needs the prediction of a quantity then a classification having problem with two classes is called as binary classification and more than two classes is called as multi class classification a regression problem containing multiple input variable is called as multivariate regression problem then classifying an email as a spam or not spam is an example of classification problem then predicting the price of stock over a period of time is a regression problem next difference a uh, next question what are the five popular algorithm we used in machine learning so the answer is decision tree probabilistic network neural network support vector machine nearest neighbor next question what do you mean by assemble learning the answer is 
numerous models such as classifier are strategically made and combined to solve a specific specific computational program which is known as ensemble learning the ensemble method are used are also known as community based learning or learning multiple classifier system it train various hypothesis to fix the same issue one of the most suitable example of ensemble modeling is the random forest tree where several decision trees are used to predict outcome it is used to improve classification function approximation prediction of a model so these are 50 uh, 15 important technical interview questions which can be commonly asked to the computer engineers in their on campus or off campus interview thank you so much for watching this video thank you